everyone. Hope everyone's having a blessed Sunday. So today I'm going to go ahead and do a part one of my front room house plant tour. I have to split it up because yes, I am going to go over each plant. I know a lot of times people just want to see the plants, which are nice, but with me, I'm actually, um, filming this for myself as well because I want to see each one and know a little bit about each so then a year from now I can watch it and say okay hey I had to do this and do that and also some people I actually like watching the videos and seeing people talk about their plants and how they decorate around the plant so um I like decorating with the plants as well because they are in our homes and we're also decorating with them as well that's how i look at it so i'm gonna go ahead and start off um today so this is a huge west window um it is uh there's a building across from me but it still doesn't really block this room gets really really bright um and i love it so um i do have this it's a huge window that's a radiator heater that i do not use for health benefits because the water you know heaters in your home you wonder why hospitals are cold that's all i could say so i'm all about health and so that's turned off so that's it's just for decorations that is turned off so i'm going to go ahead and start off this is how my front room looks when i walk in so I'm walking into the front door from the front door. This is a 450 square foot apartment with over 100 plus plants, 87 in the front room, and that's counting my air plants. So starting with this beauty, she was in my room. I moved, had to move a lot of plants around because I got a new, well, actually I have two shelves that um, I want, another one I put in my room and then one in here. So it was sold to me as Santaveria Parva. Um, I don't know if it's a Santaveria Mikado. The Parva doesn't look like this. It looks like the leaves are flatter. So unless this is just a juvenile um, and if it is, this is a big, huge plant. Then when it becomes an adult, if this is the juvenile state, because a lot of Santa areas in juvenile, when they become adults, look totally different from what you originally get them at. So this is a Santa area, either Parva or the Santa area Mikado. I don't know. Um, I've looked and looked and looked and they look so much alike that I just don't know. So I won't know, I guess, till... I'm a little bit more advanced in house plants, but I definitely am a Sansevieria collector. So um, that's one thing I do um, love. My favorite plant is Sansevieria. So that's that. She was she's a big girl and wild, but she sits perfectly in this little pot, thrifted pot. She's in her nursery pot, but that's a a um you know decorative pot with this little shell with some african vibes since sansevieria's are from africa um candle a little cute little um pot holder whatever can holder uh i cannot think of what those are called that's a shame but anyhow i love those little you know decorations and i love to decorate with the plant plant stand bought at the Goodwill as well. And I think that is the cutest little stand and it was five bucks. Moving on, here's my Santaveria Zalentica that I broke up, was able to get three potted plants and then I have two of the leaves in water as we speak. And they have wonderful roots. I'm waiting for a rhizome to come out. I've seen them actually get rhizomes in the water so I can't wait to see that. So this was my first snake plant. Um, now I'm about 25 different species uh, from June of 2018 till now. So, yes, and, and believe me, being a Santa Veria collector is so amazing. And there's so many of them that I don't think I'll ever be able to get them all, but I'm going to try. 
So that's my Sansevieria Zalentica. The first one I got um, that I actually broke up and potted myself with cactus mix, EB stone cactus mix and pumice rocks. Um, so yeah, there's that. And the pot actually is a pot I got from Home Depot. It was on sale for $5 little stand I got for like three bucks. I love it. It's a little wooden pot holder. <laughs> so that's that. And I've got some mirrors up here. And I'm going to add more mirrors to this. I have a bunch of mirrors. So I want to make like a mirror gallery on this wall in the wall um, over. So yeah. So now, mind you, this is all bright and direct light. It's really bright and direct light because this window gives so much light the shades are down now this i keep them up all the time and i know my neighbors but everyone walks by my place and looks and is like oh my god i love it so oh well they can't see directly into my apartment they have to look up which it looks like a jungle in here so but so yeah so this is bright indirect light there's my front door right there so when you walk in you're greeted with the sands of areas and Chinese evergreens. That's Maria. Had her. She's my first one. I got her back, I believe, in July of, um, of 2018. Um, and so she, I actually got her and she has not given me any problems. She's grown so big and pretty and i just love her you can sit her, her, these anywhere especially the maria because she's got the darker leaves but beautiful look at that and look how she grows just so cute and she's still in her nursery pot she also has um, a thrifted pot which is so cute it's got these really cute little designs on it there's a little bowl I collected, me and my kids. There's adults now. Um, this is my Draxina Madagascar um, Dragon Tree. I potted her up and did a video when I potted her, and she's really doing good. And she loves the bright and direct light right here as well. So here we go another chinese evergreen this is the siam red uh chinese evergreen siam and siam agile much uh, chinese evergreen this also can go with lower light but she's got more variegation in hers so that's why she's more closer to the window which isn't really um even though it looks like it's kind of far but it's pretty close because that window once again is bright so this is really bright and direct light over here and she's got a bunch of new leaves growing in winter time no problem i love her she's just so pretty with all the different colors in her leaves and then there's the shelf um this was in my room but i moved it in here a little bookshelf, a picture of me <laughs> when I was younger, which I love that sitting there with me and my kids. Um, I just redid all this. So, yeah, so I can't wait to do an updated bedroom tour with the new plants, the new Sansevierias and a new shelf in there and the way I decorated. I redid the whole room, which I love it. So, um, yeah, I had to move a lot of stuff around. So that's how this looks it's these one two three four one two three four five plants right here so this you would call bright indirect light um you know lower light you can still read a newspaper and um you get a good shadow as well when the lights hits over here so moving on i'm gonna go ahead and get this shelf knocked out which this is also, um, I believe this is bright direct light, bright indirect light as well. Um, a little brighter than over here, but it is bright indirect light. So um, starting with this top, this shelf I did get at Ikea for 14 bucks. I love it. I just love the silver and it's simple and cheap. So here's my um, first one. 
first philodendron, neon philodendron, heart leaf um, plant that I got. The leaves are starting to, they're, they were starting to uh, get a little darker because it was not getting bright direct light. It, in the summer, it was getting really, really bright light. Um, I got this in around July or August of 2018, and she's big. She's grown a lot, and her leaves, um, you know, they're kind of, it's just because I didn't wasn't giving her that much light. So she's growing now and coming along, but that's her. She's in a thrifted pot. She's a big girl, too. And then up here, I have a Monstera. A split leaf philodendron cutting it was just this one leaf that had a split that was the only leaf in fact on the plant that had a split it was a baby plant and I got it it was infested with something I don't know I repotted it and I cut this off and it's doing okay now um it's just got to it's still an infant this was the only leaf that had the holes in it and so I cut that one leaf underneath a node and because I seen the little node and now lo and behold, it grew a baby in these massive roots. So yeah, it grew some really massive roots and that baby is growing and it likes it right here. It was in my kitchen in the window in the summer. Um, well, really the end of summer, I think, I have, like October, actually, out here, it's still hot in October. It starts getting cold around the end of October. But um, yeah, so it started rooting, and I just sat it here, and it likes it here, and I think I'll keep it actually here because it looks nice, and if it it's just those two stems, if it grows another one, so be it, but we'll, I'm going to keep it in water, and I think it looks really nice right here. It likes this location, and it's giving some humidity or these girls. So here's another neon philodendron. Um, this is in a, um, it's in its uh, nursery pot, but I have it sitting, <coughs> excuse me, on, in a pot that um, lifts it up a little bit. It's just one of these kind of pots, <clears throat> but it lifts it up a little bit, and I love it. So yeah, this is another um neon <clears throat> split i'm sorry neon heartleaf philodendron this one has more neon color to it and i just got this like i'm saying about a week ago this one i got um last august i believe or yeah last august of 2018 this one i got um actually about I believe Monday of last week, I got this from Lowe's. So it's still a little, um, it just has this one long vine and then there's some other vines as well. So yeah. So this one's a younger one than this girl right here. But yes, I love uh, the neon philodendrons. I love philodendrons, period. They're just so pretty. And this one was so pretty and healthy and so bright so i went ahead and put her and i like how they look draped over this shelf and then there's a mirror for decoration as well that i thrifted i love it because it just gives it extra with a small place you want to make it this is a one bedroom 450 square foot apartment and trust me each room i've learned to just make the best of it it's just me by myself so it's perfect for one person. So this is my jelly peperomia. She's been doing pretty good. She hasn't given me any issues. Um, she, you know, with her, she likes humidity. Don't get her leaves wet and let her dry completely out. There's some water as decoration, little decorations. There's a philodendron micans. She's a little baby, and I have these sitting all over the place because I love philodendrons, um, especially the micans and the neon in the Brazil. So this is a philodendron micans, and she's really doing good. These ones all like to dry out. So there's a, um, I was going to hang it on a shelf, but I like it better sitting on this shelf. It just gives it some extra, 
I just like it. It looks really nice on the shelf. And then back there, hidden, is another Agalima. Um, I don't know if it's the Sarah Agalima. Her leaves are so cute and pink, and she's just a baby, so I won't know till she gets older. Um, so, yeah, and then there's another water sitting there for humidity because, yes, they like humidity. So, especially the Mykins and the Agulima, the, the Peperomias do too, but they don't want you to give them water on their leaves. And I, I like to water them underneath also. So, yeah. So, next, the next shelf is my Silver Pothos or Skindapsis. Um, this one, mainly silver with the big leaves. She's my first one. She grows wonderful. Um, this is water in a glass cat jar with some water little cups there. There's my Seagum Blue Pothos. It's a baby and it's growing, looking great. There's a little mushroom, a little deer, and then another Chinese Agalima, <laughs> Chinese Evergreen, um, the Silver Bay in a white thrifted pot. So the bottom shelf, we got uh, three Draxinas. Jenny Craig, I don't know exactly the middle one, but she's so pretty. These plants are pretty, period, and I love how they're all three sitting here. The Janet Craig doesn't get as much respect as she needs because she's so pretty, just solid green. Look at that, like, just beautiful. And then this one's another one that's underrated. This is the neon... Um, Lemon Lime Draxina, and she's beautiful and doesn't give me any issues. and just grows. You let them dry out also. So I'm going to go ahead and be able to finish this top one, and then I guess I'll have to finish the rest in another video because I'm running out of time here. Sorry. So here is my Florida Beauty Draxina in a turtle. Um, she's in her... Um, nursery pot as well and I just have her sitting in this cute turtle look at the face Let's see if I can get it it's smiling Hi. <laughs> so yeah so there's the Florida Beauty Draxina there's another Draxina the Lucky Bamboo she's potted in some soil that I did myself took her out of a pot that they had her glued in almost with no drainage hole for decoration, I guess. There's a lamp that has a 4,000K daylight bulb in it. So they all get that light here. These are all my arrowheads. The berry, uh, the splash with the beautiful little pink splash. She's all over the leaves. Um, there's the pink one and there's the berry. I'm sorry, Maria Illusion, um, Syngomium Arrowhead Plant. And they also have water back there because they also like humidity. These are all tropical plants. On the bottom, and then we'll finish up with this. And this is my little Peperomia station. I've got uh, the red Rosa, Rosso, um, the... Uh, little golden peperomia, golden peperomia, silver ripple, and I'm sorry, yeah, that's a ripple also, I believe, but the silver ripple, I don't know the name of this one, but that's also a peperomia, um, there's the parallel peperomia, and there goes the maroon peperomia, um, that's also a ripple. So these guys, I just leave them alone, let them dry out completely, and have them all sitting under this so they get that light also, which they like filtered light. Their leaves will burn, especially really all of these peperomias, their leaves will burn. Um, so they do have some really good bright indirect light, and they get that light from this daylight bulb. Um, and I keep that on, but I generally keep my blinds up and they all get a bunch of light. So I'm going to go ahead and end with this one and I'll finish it off um, 
on part two of my front room tour because I'm running out of breath and my time is pretty much up. So um, this is just my first uh, front room tour. And once again, I'll give you a quick overview. And so I'll go ahead and continue, continue on. So be looking forward for my part two of my end of winter front room houseplant tour. And I hope everyone has a blessed Sunday. Thank you so much for watching my video. Be looking forward to part two, which will be uploaded next. Um, by tomorrow, I'll have that uploaded. So if it's Monday for you, by Tuesday, you'll see it or you may see it Monday night. So hope everyone has a great day. Thanks a bunch for watching my video. And we'll do one more quick overview of the beauties. There's that shelf. Cuties down there that are understory plants anyways. And once again, those beautiful Draxinas. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.